Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to wire up and install and mount the Simplex Truller. Let's get started. Alright, so here are the things you're going to need for this project. First up, you're going to need a screwdriver, a uh, Phillips head. Next, you're going to need um, two screws to um, screw it in. You're going to need, obviously, the alarm itself and your wires and back box already and I do have a resistor as well um, because uh, this is on my main system and I do use resistors for all my devices to have end of line monitoring. So let's go ahead and start out and the first thing you want to do is pop the cover off the true alert. Now the true alert works kind of like a combination of a um, plug-in design device and also a regular device because it doesn't have a mounting plate that you wire everything on. Instead you wire everything on on the alarm itself but it still uh, is kind of a plug-in design because you can mount the alarm first and then wire everything up. And as you can see, I'm just getting the, um, the alarm itself off of the mounting, off of the um, cover plate. Excuse me. So it kind of operates uh, in both worlds. So it is kind of a plug-in, and it's pretty easy to mount, but um, not quite as easy as like Spectre Alert Advancer something like that. So now that we have this thing off, I'm just going to set it over to the side, and we're going to be focusing on uh, just this. So the first thing we want to do is feed our wires through this little hole, and this hole is what's going to eventually feed it, the wires into our wire terminals. So I'm going to pull this through, and then I'm going to line up these holes with the screw holes, and I'm going to uh, grab our screws and screwdriver, and try to get the screws into the alarm itself. So once I got the screw there, I'm just going to grab it and try to get it in there. And then we're going to try to line it up the best we can and try to get it started inside the um, inside the hole. And sometimes this can be kind of hard to do, but eventually you'll get it right. Alright, so once you got that fed in, you're going to um, just work on tightening it. And so I'm going to tighten this down. It looks like mine fell out again. But I'm going to try to get that back in there. Oops. It can be pretty hard to line up the screws, but once you get it in, it's really easy to just tighten it down like this. And then we can kind of let it hang there while we grab our other screw. And this has four screw holes in case your back box is, um, so that either orientation that your back box is in, you can do it, but you don't need all four screw holes. There's no covers or anything like that. You just need to, um, you just need to use two of them and then get those really tight. So as you can see, get this one in too. Try to screw that down. Once both of these are pretty tight, it should be pretty flush against the wall. And you need to make sure it, it won't wiggle around or anything like that. Then we can focus on our wires. Okay, so we need to find the positive wire and the negative wire. So I always use red as positive and white as negative or black. And so we're going to take the positive wire and just feed it into this positive terminal. Like so. And you just want to get it in. And then we also need to grab our resistor for this part. And we are going to stick one end of the resistor in with the positive uh, wire. And we are just going to so I'll just screw that down. And then once you get that in, you want to do the same thing for the negative. Just kind of insert that terminal in there and then take the other side of the resistor and get that in there as well. And then once you've got those in, you want to kind of tuck it in so that nothing will get in the way. And you're going to grab that original um, cover and then you're just going to pop that on. And now you can see everything is done. The entire trailer is wired, it's flush mounted. 
uh, it's all wired in there, it has a resistor on it, and uh, everything will be good, it shouldn't come out or anything like that, the cover shouldn't come off, and your trailer is completely installed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one.